Hello and welcome and thank you so much for joining me. I'm Jules and today I'm going to be taking you through a heart opening practice. Uh, for this practice, all you will need is your yoga mat and an open heart. So to begin, we are going to start seated, legs crossed, or comfortably for you if you have trouble sitting this way. Just take a seated position that's going to work for you. Bring your right hand to your heart, your left hand to the floor. Take a deep breath in. Exhale completely. Bring the hand into the ground. Take what you need from the earth, energy, nutrients. And as you release and let go, let the energy and what is not going to serve you release back down into the earth. Take a moment here to set an intention for your practice. Good, and then bring both hands down by your side. Reach both arms up, stretch and lengthen through the sides of the waist, lift the heart up, bring the palms to touch. Cell hands come back down. Two more, inhale, arms reach up, lengthen through the waist, lift the heart, back step, hands down. Inhale, arms reach up, exhale, hands come back down. This time as you reach the arms up, bring the palms to touch. Gaze up, bend the elbows, press the forearms to the ceiling, lift the heart. Bring your hands into heart center, seal it in. Inhale, arms reach up, palms touch, bend the elbows, lift the chest, open the heart. Exhale, hands to heart center. One last time, inhale, arms reach up, palms touch, gaze up, heart up, elbows bend, lift the heart, hands to heart center. Good, bring the hands down by your side. Keep the left hand down, reach the right arm up. Lift and reach, lengthen through the sides of the waist. Rotate from the waist, open the heart towards the sky. Reach up and over to the left. Keep the sit bones rooting. Come back to center. Lift the left arm up, rotate. Slide and reach over to the right. Keep the left sit bone down. Come back to center, interlace your fingers behind your back, roll the shoulders down your back, lift your chest up, heart reaches. Good, release your hands. Come on, hands and knees. Knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders, rooting down through all 10 fingers, draw the energy up into the arms and the heart space as you press your heart forward. Exhale, round your back to the chest. Inhale, heart presses forward, hips lift. Exhale, round the back, chin to chest, navel to spine. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, round. Inhale, chest forward through the hands. Exhale, round the back. Neutral spine, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Bicycle out the knees, root down through the hands, draw the energy up through the arms into the heart. Press the heart open, down towards the mat and back towards the thighs. Lengthen through the sides of the waist. Lengthen the hamstrings, hold downward facing dog for five, four, three, two, one, take a look up at the top of your mat and take a walk all the way to the top. Inhale, reach the heart forward, lift halfway. Exhale, fold in. Slowly roll all the way up to the stand. Mountain pose, inhale, arms reach up. Lift the heart, palms up. Exhale, hands back down by your side. Two more, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, arms reach up, palms touch, bend the elbows, lift the heart. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach up, 
palms touch, elbows bend, lift the chest, bring your hands into heart center. Last one, inhale, arms reach up, elbow bends, heart lifts, hands to heart center. Bring the hands down by your side, keep the left hand down, root down through the right foot, lift the right arm up, reach, lengthen through the sides of the waist, keep the heart open, lengthen over to the left. Come back to center. Reach the left arm up. Slide the right hand down the right leg. Side stretch. Keep the heart open. Shoulder back behind the ear. Good. Come back to center. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Roll the shoulders back. Open the chest. Lift the heart up. Inhale. Exhale. Release the hands. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold in, heart towards the thighs. Bend your knees, plant your hands, left foot goes back behind you. Lower the back knee. Inhale, reach the arms up. Anjaneyasana, heart open. Heart lifted. Lengthen through the sides of the waist. Lift the chest up. Good, bring the palms to touch. Bend the elbows, forearms towards the ceiling. Heart lifts. Hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach up. Fingers interlace behind the back. Lift the chest. Good. Release the hands. Left arm reaches up. Right hand slides on the back of the left leg. Chest towards the sky. Heart open. Good. Hands come to frame the front foot. Back foot meets the front foot. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, lift the heart, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step the right foot all the way to the back of the mat, lower the knee. Reach the arms up, Anjaneyasana. Good. Bring the hands to touch, bend the elbows, lift the heart a little higher. Good, bring the hands down, interlace the fingers behind the back, roll the shoulders, lift the chest, open through the heart. Good, release the hands, right arm reaches up, lengthen through the sides of the waist, take the, right, the left hand to the right hamstring, reach. Take both hands to the floor, back foot meets the front foot, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway, heart reaches forward. Exhale, fold in. Bend your knees, plant your hands, step back, high plank. Press the heart forward, draw the shoulder blades away from each other. You can stay here on your toes or lower to your knees. Hold here, drawing the navel to the spine, lengthening the tailbone towards the heels. Let go ahead and press back up onto those toes. We're holding it for one more breath. Good. And then slowly shift the shoulders over the fingers and lower all the way down. Chaturanga to your belly. Untuck the toes. Press the tops of the feet into the earth. Roll the shoulders back. Lift the chest. Cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift the chest. Cobra. Exhale, lower down. This last one, we're going to take upward facing dog if you would like. You can also stay right here in Cobra. Press down to the tops of the feet, firm the thighs, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. Upward facing dog. Hips come off the floor. Breathe. Pressing the heart forward, opening, expanding, and then slowly lowering yourself all the way back down to your stomach. Tuck the toes, cross up through hands and knees. Take three cat and cows. Inhale, heart reaches forward. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, lengthen, chest forward. Exhale, round. Last one, inhale, chest reaches forward, heart opens. Exhale, round. Neutral spine, tuck the toes. Root down through the hands and toes, lift the feet up, or lift the feet, lift the hips up, don't lift your feet up. Downward facing dog. That could be bad. Pedal out the knees, 
reach one heel down and then the other. Bicycling out the knees. Don't worry about if the heels touch. The heels don't have to touch in downward facing dog. Besides, our focus is on opening the heart. So I want you to root down through the hands, draw the energy up through the arms, roll the shoulder blades down the back and into your back pockets and open the heart down towards the mat and back towards your thighs. So you have a little bitty back bend here and some heart opening, even though we're in a forward downward facing dog. Good, bring the feet together. Inhale, lift that right leg up, keep the hips square. Draw the knee in to the nose, step the right foot forward between the hands. Keep the fingertips on the floor, lengthen the spine, reach the heart forward, lift halfway. Inhale, reach the arms up, full cross and lunge. Hold it here. Bring the palms to touch, elbows bend, forearms lift, heart lifts. Hands come into heart center. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Roll the shoulders back. Open the heart. Release the hands. Both arms reach up. Right hand goes to left hamstring. Reach and lengthen through the left side of the body. Open up through the left side of the heart. Good. Both hands come to the floor. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Left foot steps forward between the hands. Press down through the earth to rise up halfway. Fingers stay on the floor. Lift the chest. Heart forward. Breathe. Good. Deep breath in. Reach the arms all the way up. Press and lunge. Bring the palms to touch. Elbows bend. Forearms reach up. Chest reaches up. Heart opens. Hands come to heart center. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Roll the shoulders. Lift the chest. Reach both arms up. Stretch and lengthen through the sides of the waist. Left hand goes to right. Hamstrings stretch through the right side of the body. Open the right side of the heart. Pinwheel the hands to the floor. Downward facing dog. Take a breath. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Bring the feet together. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Step the right foot forward between your hands. This time, sweep the hands behind the back like wings. Lift halfway, pressing the heart forward. Good. Hold it here. Deep breath in. Reach the arms up. Crescent lunge. Exhale, open by spinning the back heel down. Warrior two. Good. Open the chest. Lift the heart. Strong and steady. Gaze over the middle fingers, right middle fingers. Hold. Reverse your warrior. Inhale, keep that heart open. Exhale, pinwheel the hands to the floor. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Step the left foot forward. Press down through the feet. Lift up halfway, taking the chest off of the thighs. Sweep the arms back behind you. Hold it here. Press the heart forward. Reach, lift, and lengthen that heart. Good. Open it up. Reach the arms up. Crescent lunge. Spin the back heel down, open up warrior two. Take a look at your feet. Make sure you have a nice heel to arch alignment and that you are lengthening through the sides of the waist. Heart open, chest lifted, strong and proud. Pinwheel the hands to the floor, downward facing dog. One vinyasa. Forward to plank. You can lower those knees if you'd like. Exhale, lower chaturanga all the way to the belly through cobra or halfway and then upward facing dog. Heart lifts. Exhale, downward facing dog. Heart stays open. Inhale, right leg lifts. 
right foot steps forward between the hands, lift halfway, sweep the arms back, lift and press the heart forward. Inhale, reach the arms up, open the arms wide, heel presses down, warrior two. Reverse your warrior heart open. Inhale. Exhale, side angle, forearm to thigh, arm over ear. Right forearm presses into the right thigh, open and lift the chest. Left arm reaches up and over the ear, lengthening through the left side, opening and stretching. Good, if you'd like to stay here, we're gonna hold this for three more breaths. So you can stay here or take the left hand behind the back, the right hand under the thigh and start to but take the bind and open the chest. Hold it here. Three, two, one. Release the bind. Forearm to thigh if you're not already there. Side angle. Warrior two. Hands come to the floor. Pinwheel down, frame the foot. Step the right foot back, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts. Step the right foot forward between the hands. Lift halfway, sweep the arms back behind you. Heart reaches forward. Lengthen through the spine. Inhale, arms reach up, crescent lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle. Lengthen through both sides of the waist. Keep the heart open and expanding. You'd like for the last three breaths, take the bind, wrapping the left hand behind, the right arm under the, the left arm under the thigh, right arm behind the back, lift the heart. Release the bind, side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Pinwheel the hands to the floor. Downward facing dog. Good. Take your vinyasa forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or lowering all the way down and then lift the chest, cobra, heart reaches up. Exhale, downward facing dog, heart open. Good. Inhale, right leg lifts. Right foot forward, steps forward through the hands. Lift halfway. Good. We're going to bypass crescent lunge and just pinwheel the arms open. Send the back heel down, warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Inhale. Exhale, side angle. Good. Go ahead and take the bind if you'd like. Open the heart. Lift the chest. Good, release the fingers, open up, warrior two. Start to hinge over that right leg. Start to lift and pick up the back leg. Take the right hand to the floor out in front of your right foot. Pick up your left leg. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon, open and rotate the chest. Good, you can stay right here or go ahead and extend the left arm up to the ceiling. Good, keep the heart open, shoulders stacked, back foot flexed. Two, one, slowly lower the back, leg down, bend the front knee, warrior two. Pinwheel the hands to the floor, downward facing dog. Good, left leg lifts, left foot forward. Inhale, lift halfway, reach the heart forward, and then pinwheel the arms open to warrior two, spin the back heel down. 
Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, your version of side angle, forearm to thigh. Left arm, right arm over the ear. Or take the bind. Hands behind the back. Lift the heart. Release the bind. Warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Inhale. Exhale, reach the left arm out in front of your left foot. Pick up the right foot. Stack the hips and the shoulders. Good. Spread the toes, root down through the standing leg. Flex the right foot. Open the chest. Hold. Good. Bend the front knee, lower the back foot. Reach the arms out. Warrior two. Pinwheel the hands to the floor. Downward facing dog. Good. One final vinyasa with the peak posture at the end here. Inhale, shift your weight forward to plank. Heart presses forward. Your vinyasa, lower chaturanga. Half layer to the belly. Untuck the toes. Lift the heart up. Cobra, thighs down. Upward dog, thighs up. Both heart lifting. Good. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Right foot steps forward between the hands. Inhale, halfway lift to reach the arm behind. Good. Inhale, pin the hands, arms open, back heel down, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, your version of side angle, bound or unbound. This time I'll take it unbound. Good. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Reach over that right foot. Start to pick up the left foot, placing the right hand on the floor. Strengthen strong through the standing leg. Flex the left toes. Leave an eye falling down. Take your time. It's okay. Good. Reach the arm up. You can stay right here or go ahead and bend the back knee. Grab the left foot and press the left foot into your right hand, opening up the heart just a little bit more. Here, two, one. Slowly release, try not to let it be a slingshot. Slowly lower the back foot, lift the upper body. Warrior two, hand me over hands to the floor. Downward facing dog. You can stay right here in downward facing dog to breathe or take a vinyasa forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Your choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're all meeting back here. Left leg lifts. Left foot steps forward. Good. Lift the upper body. Sweep the arms back behind. Pin wheel the arms open, back heel dials down, warrior two, heart lifted, chest open, proud. Reverse your warrior. Side angle, bound or unbound, your choice. Now come back to warrior two, reach over that left leg, start to pick up the right foot. Weight goes into the standing leg, straighten the left leg, flex the right toes, stack the hips and shoulders. Stay right here. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Or bend the right knee, grab the right foot, foot in hand, press the foot into your hand. Ooh. Breathe. Steady. Focus. Focused, strong, heart proud and open. Good, no matter where you are or what happened. Place the foot back down. Reverse. Pinwheel the hands to the floor. Downward facing dog. You can stay right here to breathe. 
You can lower your knees to the floor, take the knees wide apart, open child's pose and breathe. Or follow with me through one final vinyasa. Chaturanga. Cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, now we're gonna join everybody coming to the knees, lowering the hips to the heels. Take a well-deserved child's pose. Keep the heart open, fingers reaching, arms extended, forehead to the earth. Good, slowly bring yourself up. You can stay right here. If this is hard, grab a bolster or a pillow and put it under you so that you can sit up. You can stay right here. Bring the hands to heart center, thumbs into the chest, chest into the thumbs, and then work on lifting up and out of the sides of the waist to open the chest. You can stay here, or you can join me up on the knees standing. Same deal, you can stay right here. You can place the hands on the lower back and start to roll the shoulders back, pointing the elbows towards the back of the mat and lift up and out of the torso. We want to be lifting up and out, not up and down or up and back, right? Lift, lift. And then if you would like, you can stay right here or you can take the toes and tuck them under to lift the heels a little higher. And we'll take the right hand to the heel, and we'll take the left hand to the heart. Draw that left shoulder down, open the chest up. Half camel, or if you would like, you can untuck the toes and lift. Again, keeping that idea of up and out of the lower back, not up and into. The lower back. So if you feel anything in your lower back right now, either tuck the toes back under or slide the hand a little bit down the back of the leg. Bring yourself up a bit, right? So we want to listen to our body as we're on our journey. Good. Come back up. Take the hips to the heels. Extend the arms out. Child's pose. Good, slowly bring yourself back up. Take your version of the posture here. Hands to the lower back, lift up and out. Lift and reach the heart up. I'm gonna tuck the toes for this one. This side I know I'm a little bit more tight. So I wanna honor and listen to my body here. I'm going to lift up and out, up and out. Take my left hand to my left heel, my right hand to my right heart, and draw the right shoulder back. Lift the chest. If you have neck issues, keep the neck in line with the spine. Don't drop the head back. Keep the head here. Gaze lifting up. Gaze looking up, heart up. Two, one, and then slowly bring yourself up. And sit your hips back. One more child's pose. Stretch out that lower back. Good. Come back up. Come to sitting on your seat with the legs out in front of you. Take your hands behind your back palms facing towards your seat. We're going to start with tabletop first. So bend your knees, press down through the hands and feet, and lift the hips up. 
you can keep your head right where it is. You see mine is neutral right now, or if you've got the flexibility and you want to, roll the shoulders back and then drop the head back. But if not, you can keep the head up. That's fine. Your choice. Kind of press down through the feet. Press down through the hands. And then slowly lower yourself all the way down. Now you can take this version again, or you can take reverse plank. So hands facing the seat, sit up nice and tall. We'll start with the feet flex, press down through the heels, lift the hips up, press the heart up, point the toes, let the head go back, or keep the head here, your choice. Good, slowly lower all the way back down. Good, inhale, reach the arms up, and exhale, forward fold, just to counterbalance here. Inhale, press the heart forward, so even though we are in this forward fold, we're, we still have a teeny tiny little upper back bend here, reaching the heart forward towards the toes. Good. Slowly walk the hands closer to you. Sit up nice and tall. Bend the knees. Scoot the seat close to the heels and lower yourself slowly onto the floor for bridge. So we'll do one version of bridge. And then if you feel warm and comfortable, you're more than welcome to take wheel or you can do a second round of bridge your choice, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Feet flat on the floor. When your hands are, your arms are extended, the middle finger should graze the backs of the heels. Press down through all four corners of the feet. Draw the belly in, lift the hips up. Start to roll the shoulders underneath the back, behind the back, good. Lift the chest. If you would like, interlace the fingers behind your back. Press and lift the heart up. Keep the back of the neck long. Good. Keep those inner thighs moving towards each other. We don't want the legs open, but we don't want them knocking in either. We want a squeeze of the inner thighs. Keeping the thighs, the fronts of the thighs parallel. Good, slowly lower all the way back down. And tuck the shoulders, windshield wiper, the legs. Good, bring the feet back to the floor, knees pointing up towards the ceiling. I'm gonna take another round of bridge but you are more than welcome to go ahead and take wheel. If you're gonna take wheel, go ahead and bring the hands in line with the ears, elbows pointing up towards the ceiling. Press down firmly through the hands and the feet. Deep breath in. Exhale, start to lift yourself up. Bridge pose, feet press down into the earth. Inhale, start to lift the hips. Roll the shoulders under. Interlace the fingers behind the back. If you would like, otherwise hands can stay down, it's fine. And then lift the heart up. Good, holding bridge. Five deep breaths. Good, slowly make your way out of Wheeler Bridge and down to the mat, pull back, knees bent, windshield wiper the knees side to side. Good. Good, bring the knees back to center. Take the feet as wide as the mat and let the knees knock in to reset the spine to relax the lower back into the earth, to 
to neutralize the spine as we prepare for our final resting posture with an open heart. Unmap the knees, extend the legs. Let the feet relax, palms open, shoulders open so you're broad across the collar, the heart open, ready to not only send out love and compassion for yourself and others, but to receive love and compassion from others to yourself. Thank you so much for taking the time to practice with me today. Please spend a few minutes here in Shavasana so that you can allow the postures of the practice to soak into muscle memory and remind yourself 